Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm doing your remaining month of January reading stuff from the 22nd through the 31st of uh, January 2021. This is going to be for the sign of Capricorn. So let's see what is coming up for you guys for the remaining month time. I will be adding oracle cards in this reading but no charms will be added so stay tuned and uh, while I shuffle the cards let me remind you it's a general reading it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest for personal readings you can always reach out to me on my email id in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So yep, let's see what is coming up for the Capricorns. Let's begin. <clears throat> Temperance. You will be feeling quite balanced. And um, if there are certain things that you are waiting for in your life right now, love life, work life, home life situation, whatever it is that you are, you know, feeling like, you know, something is missing, something needs to be done, something needs to happen. Um, I feel like, you know, now you have basically found your inner peace around it. You know, whether it's happening, whether it's not, you are going to feel balanced. You're going to feel like, okay, fine. If I don't have this, it's okay not to have it at this point in time. Maybe something good is going to come my way. You will have some sort of inner peace, inner self, uh, you know, um, gratitude as well towards the current circumstances. You're going to start seeing things from a different perspective, from a positive perspective, I must say, because I feel like, you know, this energy seems like, you know, you're feeling um, okay. If not happy, you're still feeling like, you know, okay around it. Um, trying to feel happy as well. But I do see that, you know, it's going to be the time, you know, especially the, the first few days, like 22nd through the 24th or 25th, you would be finding it very easy for yourself to adapt to this current circumstances and not to heavily think about future past and everything you are going to feel like you know okay fine if this is happening let it be like you know you are not going to stress around anything um you are going to start feeling patient or uh, start having patience towards love life situations work life situations home life situation you're going to start finding your balance there um let's see more cards here ten of pentacles for some of you, that balance comes in as maybe for some of you, you might be uh, visiting your family, you might be visiting some happy couples, you might be visiting some uh, happy places where everybody seems like, you know, balanced and everything seems like perfect. So maybe, maybe that feeling of uh, being in a situation like this is going to make you feel like, okay, fine, like, you know, it's a... Uh, it's okay. Some people are like this and some people are like me as well. So you are going to find that okay. Like, you know, I don't see you complaining at all now. I don't know how the past has been like. I don't know what the circumstances have been like in the recent, you know, past. But you are going to start feeling confident in yourself and your skin as well. Um, you, you will be happy seeing people happy. But at the same time, um, you would be wishing and hoping for some good times for yourself as well. But at the same time, you are not complaining now. I don't see you complaining. I do see you very um, positive around everything. Um, five of Swords. For some of you, maybe there has been some sort of family drama that you might have been uh, pulled into. Um, and finally, you started... Um, you know, it's it's more like, you know, maybe maybe for some of you, there could have been some family issues that you were, you know, um, getting sucked up in uh, for some reasons. And I feel like, you know, maybe, maybe for, for, you know, somehow, whatever the family drama was all about, maybe you have basically um, successfully managed to either pull yourself out of it, or if not, then if there has been some family issues, you have basically finally resolve them you know if your family uh and you have been always like you know fighting arguing for for some reasons you have finally found a you know a line of uh you know um it's, it's more like you know having some sort of settlement done between you and the family and now you are feeling okay fine at least one area of my life is full with the um some sort of satisfactory energies, you know, it's, it's, it could be the case, like, you know, after having that done, uh, after having the settlement with the family, forgiving them, forgetting that, whatever has happened in the family, maybe that is going to add some sort of inner peace in yourself, in your life as well. And you're going to feel like, okay, fine, at least one area of my life is now, okay, I hope that everything uh, else is also going to get ready, uh, get better. 
Uh, so maybe it's going to be that kind of a thing for some of you. Let's see more cards. Knight of Pentacles. Four of Cups. Wow. For those of you who who can relate to the family thing that I mentioned, maybe for some of you, you really have to end the karmic cycle by letting go of the past that you had with the family. Maybe for some of you, you might have experienced a lot of... Uh, uh, turbulence in a family situation if that has happened you have a lot of scars in your mind in your subconscious regarding love life if that's the case you really have to forget that you really have to forgive your parents forgive the people who caused that you know a uh, negative impact of love life in your mind maybe you have seen your close friends and family uh, going through a rough marriage life and maybe that's the reason why you always attract the wrong kind of uh, energies when it comes to your love life I feel like, you know, for some reasons, that that negative mindset, the thoughts um, are fading away now. And it's, it's bringing you a lot of balance within you. And as you as that happens, as that I feel like, you know, it's going to start happening around the 25th and onwards. I feel like you know, it's going to be like, you know, slow thing happening, uh, which might have been happening in, in the past as well. But it, it was so slow that you could not see the change. I feel like, you know, in, in the first few days, like 22nd through the 25th is going to be the time when you're going to start forgetting and forgiving the past, the things that have happened and which made you think negative around love life. You're going to forgive them, forget them, heal yourself. And that's how you're going to start moving forward. You're going to start thinking positive. You're going to start tapping into the inner uh, peace. And that's going to bring the changes in your life that you have been always wishing and hoping around but you always had some negative mindset attached to it i feel like you know those changes are coming up for you now as you release the past as you release the uh, family drama as you release the family issues from the past you clear your energies you heal yourself you balance yourself you uh, you know you you start getting okay with the with the current circumstances in your current family life um you are going to start feeling better. You're going to start feeling like, you know, okay, okay, fine. Some sort of stability is finally entering in your life, which might have been missing in the recent past. So that energy is going to attract you more and more and more of good energy in your life. You will be start, you know, uh, having a lot of offers coming your way. It will not happen like all of a sudden. I feel like it's going to happen gradually. Um, maybe for some of you, you might attract some sort of a proposal coming in. Uh, it doesn't have to be marriage proposal. It it would be more of a, uh, you know, maybe you're gonna you're gonna you know. Uh, go to somewhere and you're gonna you know uh, somebody comes in to to offer you friendship to offer you to to go on a date with them it can be like you know something related to that uh where somebody wants to you know uh, or somebody shows their interest in you so it's gonna be like you know some changes are finally happening in your love life in your in your emotional you know which, which is going to bring you emotional fulfillment it's not gonna happen this you know remaining month time but i do see some positive changes are finally starting in you will have a lot of new friends coming in, friendship offers coming in, be that on social media, be that in real. I do see some positive changes coming up for you. But it all stems from you letting go of the past, you healing yourself from the past, you, uh, you know, having that um, inner peace as well. So I feel like, you know, you accepting the reality and living in the now is going to help you heal and let go of the past as well. And uh, which is going to bring you uh, new offers uh, which is going to, you know, it's, it's very important if you if you could plan to go out and, you know, meet your friends and, you know, spend some time with them, indulge into things where you could, uh, where you could have the possibility of meeting new people, like, you know, going to join a gym, maybe going, uh, you know, start going to uh, a class or something, uh, you know, do things like that, which is going to open doorways for you to meet new people as well. And since you are now in a positive mindset, it's going to help you attract new people in your life, making new friendships in this, you know, uh, in this time and which which might lead you towards the one. I don't see something very, uh, you know, solid coming in for you right now. But yes, I do see some sort of like, you know, light energies entering in your life after a long period of time where you will be maybe be meeting new people, making new friends as well. But nothing of like, you know, you are meeting your soulmate or something right now. No, I don't see that right now. But yes. Obviously, as you heal yourself, you will be in that zone where you will be receptive to that energy as well. Let's see more cards here for a font. 
10 of swords and the wheel of fortune and in the deck we do have nine of cups you will get that too you just need to understand that there are, uh, there are certain things that you need to leave behind as you do that as you heal yourself everything is going to start falling into place for you so this is going to be the time where you basically are letting go of the past and healing yourself and um you know uh forgiving and forgetting what has happened in the past and um moving forward with positive mindset let's see more cards let's see what the oracle has to add to the reading for you guys expect for powerful change this this time is going to be very powerful in terms of bringing some positive changes within you it's going to be like you know a game changer for you for your future as well because i do see you accepting things and um you know living in the moment is going to be the thing that you would be doing and which is going to help you heal from the past and move forward into your future with positivity let's see one more card notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance i feel like you know it all starts from within you like i always say it's like you know something that you know if you spend some time alone um you always receive messages coming from the divine you always contemplate you always tap into what you need to know um the universe is always con communicating to you if you have your time your me time i call that um if you have that you will be guided through listen to the guidance coming in i feel like you know for majority of you maybe you have recently spent some time alone which made you contemplate on the decisions of your life maybe you you know contemplated on the fact that maybe there are certain things from the family situation that you need to leave behind there are some people in your life that you need to forgive and forget about and you are trying to heal yourself or heal any scars that you that you know the past situations left on you or on your subconscious regarding love life i do see that healing comes in for you and i do see you you know being you know open to to let new relationships in it's not loving relationships as in like you know uh the the perfect boyfriend girlfriend husband wife it's more like you know you are now ready to be more uh you know open to have more people in your life you are not you know getting yourself um in a spot where you are restricting communications i do see you now opening up you are now blooming to 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 attract new people in your life so you could um you know have um it's, it's more like you know you're letting new people in so you could have a new friends you know a family of friends as well so yep that's pretty much it coming up for you for the remaining month time if the reading resonates with you do like subscribe and share if you're willing to get a personal reading you can always reach out to me for that on my email id in the description box till i do the next reading for you guys take care bye bye